What up you guys, my name is Aline, they call me Aline, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing another first foundation thoughts. This video is pretty much self-explanatory, um, I'm pretty much just gonna try out a new foundation, check it out, and see what my thoughts are. For today's foundation, I have the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate in the shade number 46 Golden Deep. So without further ado, I guess we could dive right into the video. So, I actually already did my brows, did my prepping, and I actually started on my eyeshadow because today I wanted to do something a little bit different because I haven't um, practiced with doing eyeshadows in a while, so I'm a little rusty. But on another note, um, today I will be reviewing the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate, and I am in the shade number 46, Golden Deep. So to start it off, um, this is the packaging. Um, I like it because it's really, really simple. It's very sleek. It's black and white, so it's nothing too crazy. Um, it's straight to the point. Also, it says it's 22 milliliters it, and it's 0 0.75 fluid ounces, which kind of questions me because usually um, foundations are 1.0 fluid ounces or more, so I don't know if they weigh the makeup based on what's in the packaging or what. Um, in the back it lists that's an instant full coverage, all day weightless wear, less is more, and it's also listed in two different languages. Um, in the bottom here it lists in two different languages besides in English the distributed, where they distribute the product, which is from Kendo, San Francisco, California, 94105, uh, made in Italy, and the website. And then just little icons in the bottom. And on this side here, it actually lists the ingredients and also has the barcode for the product. So obviously when they scan the product in the store, it's easy for them to identify the price. So for this product, this is actually the first time I am trying this foundation. I remember when Marc Jacobs first came out with their makeup line, I was actually willing and dying to try their foundation. However, I don't remember what it's called or if they even sell that um, particular foundation but I remember the first time I tried it I didn't like it and it wasn't because of like the um, how I'd say it like um, the finish it was more so the shade so maybe one day I'll figure it out but I know it's definitely not this one and um, I actually purchased this at the Sephora BIB sale um, I actually was looking to try out the Huda Beauty but they sold out of that so I decided to pick this up because I was noticing a lot of people were going to this foundation um, and I got this for 20% off so I believe I got it for like 40, 40 something dollars um, however the original price for this is actually 55 which is a lot um, usually um, Sephora foundations like they're all high-end and they start around the $30 range and then they go up higher and higher. Um, usually the high-end foundations that I purchase are more in the $30, $40 range. The only time I really splurge is during the VIB sale so that's the reason why I got it to try it out. So now I'm going to open this and this is the bottle of the packaging. Um, right from the start, I love how sleek it looks. It looks very classy. Um, also, I like how this bottle has like a matte um, finish. Uh, the top of the cap is plastic and it kind of has this silver kind of thing. I think I want to say it's the pump maybe. I'm not sure. And then the bottom it lists the shade Golden Deep Remarkable Full Cover Foundation. And it has like this interesting shape. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. The shape of this um, looks like a lot of how their packaging is with their whole line. I noticed they like to do kind of like this curve rounded packaging, whether it's the eyeshadows, um, the foundations, the mascaras, and other things like that. But so far, um, even though like I will say like gotta be careful because it is glass um, I definitely like how the packaging of this foundation looks like so now I'm gonna open this and this well there's another cap so let me try to open this oh this is interesting um, it's not a pump which is kind of interesting because usually high-end foundations come with a pump 
but um, it kind of reminds me of the applicator of the Wet n Wild one I just tried out. However, it's not a spatula. I don't know if you could tell, it kind of has like this rounded um, shaped applicator, but um, I can't be too mad about it because at least from what I see, you can just apply as much as you can instead of like you just pumping and then like wasting, you know, product. Because sometimes, even though like pumps are great for foundation, sometimes like we pump too much and then we just, you know, waste the foundation. However, I kind of like this because you could just like add it to your face and apply as much as you can, whenever, like whether if you want it like full or like not so full. And the scent of this smells like paint I don't know like maybe it's just me being sick but it I guess it smells like foundation but it smells like paint but this particular scent is like like it kind of reminds me of paint that you buy at like Home Depot um, but not that strong but like I said maybe it's just me but uh yeah, it's, it's not like a strong scent, but at least it's not like a floral scent or anything like that. But I think once I apply this foundation, the scent will go away. Now for the moment of truth, I'm going to put this on my face. I don't know if you could see from this camera, but you could tell the consistency is thick because it's just on my face. It's not like it's like sleeking or dripping down or anything like that but now I'm going to use the Eco Tools um, beauty sponge to blend out this foundation so far I am so surprised how full this foundation is I obviously you could tell from the thing here um, you could tell that I didn't really put that much like I just dot it all over my face but wow like this thing is a very full coverage however I'm noticing that you kind of have to work with this really fast because it will dry down quick however I would say this foundation is a bit too light for me I don't know if this will oxidize later but I will work with this I'm gonna use bronzer like really bronze the crap out of my face but this foundation is very full, however, I'm noticing that it's really showing like this texture on my face. Like I like how it covers full, but it's showing a lot of texture, um, maybe because I am super, super dry right now. Um, but I mean, I wanted to try this out because... Like I said, I seen a bunch of people trying to buy this. This is this looks so light on me though. Like it's so weird because when I went to the store, I actually um, match myself because you know I kind of like to match myself. I feel more comfortable matching myself because I know myself more. And this actually kind of oxidized a little, but. Maybe it's just the lighting right now that I'm at because I'm actually filming by a window and I like to film like with natural lighting. But right now it's looking light, but I'm gonna work with this. I'm gonna try to bronze the crap out of my face so I don't look like a ghost. But um, so far I like the coverage, but it's showing a lot of texture. So at the moment, I will definitely say this foundation isn't for someone with um, dry skin. It's definitely not. And now when I'm seeing it, fact, I could actually even see the patches on my face because um, as you guys know, I am right now on the journey to getting my skin clearer. But uh, yeah, so far this foundation... I don't know if I'm gonna like it, um, but I'm gonna see how this works out throughout the day. I am gonna go to Glendale today to visit my friend, which is why I also want to do this. But yeah, this um, definitely um, little goes a long way for this. However, um, so far I'm kind of like 
on the fence with this. Um, coverage is great, however, I will not recommend this for a dry skin person as of now. And definitely, um, hopefully, maybe the color might oxidize just a little bit. But, yeah, let's see how this works. Now that I pretty much covered my face with the foundation, I'm going to finish off my face and then show you the final look. So, you guys, this is the final finished look. Um, this is how my face looks like um, once I concealed, I bronzed, I blushed, highlight, and added my final touches to my eyes. Um, so you could tell that the color got a little darker, um, maybe because I set my face with my usual Wet n Wild Photo Ready Powder. Um, so I don't know if that helped or the bronzer helped, but I noticed as I was applying like all the other products, um, the foundation um, around my forehead was kind of coming off and I noticed that my under my eyes like the concealer and the foundation I don't know whether it's it mixing together started to kind of separate but I did fix that um, so overall so far in terms of the foundation and how I feel like it it is a very full coverage foundation I will give you that like you saw me and how I just put the foundation like I literally just dot it and it just covered everything I barely had to conceal I mean for the most part the only thing I really conceal is under my eyes but it's just me always doing that as it habits um, however right now it is um, let me check the time it's really early actually it's a uh, 920 927 and right now I have Steve Harrington aka Joe Kiri on my wallpaper because I'm super obsessed with him right now and I'm gonna show you guys really quick up close how my face looks like hey guys so I actually put away all my filming equipment because I realized that I'm running late but now before I leave I wanted to show you guys up close how everything looks like um, as I mentioned right now it's 941 so everything on my face um, I noticed that my skin's peeking out just a little. I had to do a lot of retouching because I realized like some of the foundation didn't really grab onto my skin. Um, and some of the product kind of like went away as soon as I bronzed or applied blush or even highlight on my face. But <clears throat> I will say um, this foundation is definitely a full coverage. Um, I feel like right now because my skin is a little drier, the foundation isn't really working well with me right now, but um, in the meantime, I'm gonna wear it throughout the whole day to see if, you know, I oxidize, um, if it doesn't stay matte or dry or whatever. So, you know, this is kind of like how, like, a first foundation thoughts video will go across like I'm not gonna like completely say I hate it from the start but right now um I don't know if I really like it but I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna wear it all day but in the meantime I do know that I do need to get a skin color a little darker because this is just a little pale so I definitely say on the shade range part um it's kind of I don't know I don't know how I feel, but in the meantime, close up. Now I need to fix this little glitch. And I'll update you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's been an hour and I actually arrived to my destination and I just want to say that this foundation definitely oxidizes. So I know I was looking extra pale when I first applied it, um, but now it's pretty much matched up to my skin. Also, I forgot to note that there are about 22 different shades in this collection, so that's not that bad. Um, however, I will say I feel like they maybe could expand their shade range more just so there's more people to try out. Um, I know you don't really notice it, but from my, on my end, I'm noticing that the foundation is a little more on the orange side, so I don't know if I like that because I like more of a yellow tone, not an orange tone. But this is just a quick update and I'll update you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's 4.50 and I've been out all day in Glendale. I've been pretty much everywhere. Home Goods, Target, the mall, Americana, you name it. Probably been there. But really quick, I wanted to update you guys on how everything's been looking like so far. Um, 
pretty much everything's there. I just have a little texture showing and peaking. My nose is a little oily, but I would say the wear is not that bad. I haven't blotted just yet. Um, but overall, um, even though I was like kind of like debating in the beginning, this foundation isn't too bad. Um, like, I do like it, but in the meantime, um, I'll update you guys a little later to see how long I last with this makeup. And yeah, this is getting a little awkward because someone's watching. This is how my face looks like. Hey guys, so it is 10.15. And I just got back home from Glendale and I am losing my voice like crazy and my throat really hurts. But I wanted to show you guys the last check-in before I wash this all off. So, this is how my face looks like. Um, my eyes, they're still on, which is great. Definitely digging my eyeshadow. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on this soon. But as for the face itself, um, as you can see, this is almost gone. Um, my nose is oily, but that's not any surprise to me. On um, the nose area, I'm noticing a little caking. Um, around this area, you can see the separation and the cracking. Um, over here, you can see the foundation has faded. Um, you can see, like, kind of like my acne and dry spots on this side you could see the dry spots here really patchy and over here as well um for a second i thought i liked it but i realized how bad the lighting was but i kind of didn't want to film in public because it was so crazy and i know people might think that's a little weird but on another note um overall in terms of this foundation i know a lot of people like this but personally it's not for me um i have tried foundations that may not 100 percent be like the best of all time but i've had foundations that stayed on longer and they were way more cheaper um i mean i do have to admit when you first apply it on it does look nice um and it is a full coverage, I'll give it that. Um, however, I think this foundation is more fitting with someone with like normal skin. Um, as you can see, when being a dry skin person right now, it's not working and me being oily around here, it's not working as well. So um, with this foundation, I don't think I'm gonna use this again. I think I'm gonna return it back because I don't think it's, for me and I'm not saying it's a terrible foundation but for me personally it's not a foundation for me and I hope you guys understand like not everyone's gonna like your favorite foundation and I know not everyone loves my favorite foundation so you know I just hope you guys respect that in the meantime here's my last check-in my voice is really bad and then he stopped talking but yeah here is the final result. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first foundation thoughts video on the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Foundation Concentrate. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some love down below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want, click that notification button so you guys can, you know, be alerted whenever I have a video and things like that. Of course, if you don't already, follow me on all my social media. On my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat are all a lean to that. On another note, before I let you go, I just wanted to show you guys my very awesome NSYNC shirt. And now I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a good day. And until next time, it's been real, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Yeah. 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 Yeah.